Today we'll be cooking this amazing mac and cheese! And uh, I will be cooking along at home because I finally want to try some vegan mac and cheese. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to be cooking vegan mac and cheese, mainly because when we went to Vero a few weeks ago, I absolutely love the mac and cheese there, and it reminded me that I haven't had mac and cheese in like two years. So I've got macaroni here, I've used the whole bag of St. Jude's macaroni, and the main ingredients to kind of make it a macaroni cheese, a nutritional yeast, which if you haven't had and you're a vegan, you need to try this, it's amazing stuff, it's kind of got a nutty, cheesy taste to it. Pretty good for you as well, and this one's fortified with B12. We're gonna be mixing that with some milk. I'm gonna be going for some oat dream oat milk. And there's a couple extra things to add to it. So we've got some garlic granules we're gonna add. In the video, Monami Frost add crispy onion bites, and I went to get those from Sainsbury's, and then I saw these instead. You can see I've already opened them because I've already ate them. We've got some bacon bits. These are vegetarian, these are vegan. Really nice as well. So I'm gonna be adding them to the mac and cheese. We've also got some salt that will be added, some turmeric and some black pepper. That's not part of the recipe, I don't think. I just like to add turmeric and black pepper to pretty much everything I eat. Helps you fight cancer. I'm also gonna add some mixed frozen veg to the macaroni. And I add some salt and then we've got our macaroni there. So I'm gonna leave that to cook for like eight minutes. Our macaroni is done, so we're gonna drain that out. Then we're gonna add in some of our oat milk with our nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, turmeric, black pepper, and hopefully we're gonna have a really tasty looking macaroni cheese. And the garlic granules and the turmeric are just making this smell really, really good and giving it quite a nice color as well. Bacon bits, I can't forget about that. All right, let's try this for real. I'm definitely glad I added the vegetables. It looks very colorful. And it kind of makes it more of a meal instead of just macaroni cheese on its own. It's not as saucy as the one at V-Rev, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, that is, that is really nice. Oh, this is good. I love the bacon bits in there as well. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of mac and cheese recipes when I was deciding to do this video. I wanted to try mac and cheese. This one requires no blending, not a lot of ingredients, there's like six or seven ingredients involved and that's including spices. And it took maybe 20, 25 minutes, maybe 20 minutes in total to make, to go from cooking the macaroni and cheese to eating it. That is really good and it's, it's, it's nice. I like it, which was probably always going to be the case. The main test is if Nicole likes it as well. Average. What are you barking at? You barking because you want some macaroni and cheese? <laughs> 